Hi guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. This is Neelam and uh, we're looking today at an interesting question. I wanted to see the energy around your connection, if there's a connection on your mind that has been there and what can you expect in that connection. So first we look at the energy and we'll see where is it headed, okay? So you will have to have a person in mind for this reading. If there is a particular situation you want to know further about, then this is your reading. So pile one is going to be this uh, rainbow moonstone. Pile two is this black tourmaline uh, rock. And pile three is this selenite wand. Okay. So you can pause the video, look at the crystals, see which one's attracting you the most. Uh, go ahead and pick your piles. I'm going to pause for like 2-3 seconds for you. Okay, let's begin with pile 1. Alright, so pile number 1, whoever chose this. Let's first see the energy around your connection and where is it headed. First, let's see the energy right now. energy around your connection right now pile one wow ah okay so i feel you i'm seeing that okay if you've been doubting your partner's desire to be with you then please don't okay please don't because this person equally wants to be with you as much as you want to be with them. It's an equal thing. But there is something that needs to be balanced out. Okay. There, there is a need for making things right. Okay. There is a need for fixing things. There's a need for like doing it the right way or something. I don't know what that is. For whoever this is resonating, you would know. The energy right now is that the universe is trying to bring about a union, okay, together. It's like, and it's going through some ups and downs here and there, okay? So understand this thing that everything will fall into place, but this, uh, this whole up and down thing or this back and forth or whatever is happening right now, is for a purpose. It's because it is giving you an opportunity to understand your own self and what triggers you and your traumas. Some, I, I, for some, I feel you will have to dig really deep to understand. Say. If you're seeing certain things repeating in your life, then you have to dig quite deep. You have to dig in a little more deeper to understand yourself, to, to basically, okay, for some I feel read, okay, read and also somewhere go back in time, like try to see this picture from somewhere else, you will be able to get to the clarity. There are some important notes that need to be considered here.
Yes, right now it might seem that things are walking on a very thin path, uh, treading on a thin path, but understand that you have to feel this emotion because this is exactly how somebody else felt at some point of time. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but see, the bottom line of the story is that this is coming together, okay? When I say this is coming together, what I mean is that Whatever is happening right now is the universe wanting to put a plan together and it has to go this way because things have to be changed. That's the energy of this connection. For some, I'm also picking up that you don't know whether it is going to work out or is it not going to work out. Is it going to stay or is it not going to stay? You really don't know. And I can see that. It can confuse you. It can feel like you don't know how to do it. You don't know where to start and what to do. All these things are there. It's like, I wish I could place these two cards in between these two giraffes. You both are connected, okay? But it's like there's some things that need to be solved before this happens. But let's see, where is this headed? This is the energy. But let's see, where is this headed? I'm already seeing where is this headed, but let's see. Where is this headed? Pile number one. See, I told you. Patience. Oh, God. Number seven showing up a lot. Listen to me. There is a way of being that you need to change, Pile one. Okay? You have led your life in a certain way, but this connection is here for you to really go back to how you were when you had faith, when you trusted things, when you were not so calculative, when you always, you know, you, you were sure that, okay, I want this, I want to do this, I want to do that. You were sure, you were sure that, okay, this is how I want to feel. This is how I want to be. You were pretty okay with the idea that Nobody can hurt me. I have not felt hurt. I don't know how that's... Not... This is very kiddish I'm picking up. So there's a need for you to go back in that energy. Okay? Now, when I see this, you will know and you already know. I, I'm, I don't know why am I doing this reading. You already know this is meant to be. You already know this. And trust me, your intuition knows it, but your logical mind doesn't let you accept it. This is moving in the direction where it is supposed to move towards a union. But the point is that you bringing in your trust and faith one more time on the universe is what is blocking it. I hope you get it. It's kind of deep, but try to think. You have to, you probably for some, there's certain areas of your life you're very confident about. Go back and think what that is and how that happens. You're just naturally very confident about those areas of your life. You just know how to handle it. Okay. So bring that same confidence here. Bring that same confidence here. You have gotten the hints. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Okay. You have gotten the hint. All you need to do now is to trust what um, whatever has been happening. Okay. Trust that. If there is something like going haywire and things are shifting and um, 
you know, it's a little dilly dally or all the good and the bad right now is working in your favor towards this connection. This is nothing, this is not uh, anything negative, pile one. This is not anything negative. I know it's easier said than done, but if possible, try to park your mind aside where you're trying to control the outcome of things every now and then. You get into that, even though you know that you're not supposed to do it, but you have a tendency of getting into that pattern of wanting to control things. Don't. I just say that don't. Don't right now. Just take it easy on yourself. You don't have to control the outcome of everything. You really don't have to put in so much of effort to control things in your life. There is no need to do that. Not at all. I don't see the need at all for you to do all this. Just relax. This connection is falling into place. Like, But like I said, there are certain things that have to be fixed first. There are certain things that have to be done in a proper way. And that needs time. Like I see here, wait, awaiting results. That needs time. It can't happen like right now. And I think you're struggling there only. Okay? Listen, the more you attach yourself to the outcome of this situation, the more difficult it is going to become for you. Detach. Detach from the situation. Let it, let it happen on its own. Okay? Let it happen on its own. Alright, so that's what I have for pile 1. I hope this reading helped. Private readings are open so you can reach out to me. Let me know in the comments if this resonated. It's a beautiful reading, okay? Take care, bye-bye. Alright. Uh -oh. Let's move to pile 2. Whoever chose the black tourmaline. Let's see the energy around your connection, pile number one. The energy around your connection, pile one. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, first thing that I'm picking up is that you are you or your person, either of you. And obviously when a connection forms, it's an alchemy between two people. Um, it is a little disturbed, okay? Because things are not, things are not falling into place somehow. So, in that case, understand that if you're not being able to understand the dynamic, then seek some help. Get some help. It's okay to get some help. Okay? The energy in this connection is there is a need to clear some karma. Okay, some karma which needs to be resolved. Somebody needs to be saved. Somebody needs to be taken out of a zone. Okay, I do see that an effort has to be put in from the person. So the person who has to be saved has to be saved by someone. So I think if it's you, it's you. Or if you have to be saved, then it's the other person. So the energy around this connection that I'm picking up is that somebody has to be pulled out of a zone. Okay? And this person really needs help. I can really see it. And this person needs to be rescued, literally. Okay. What is this? Let me just pick some... Okay, I'll use tarot cards because... Sorry. 
What is this rescue? Hmm. All right. So this, I'll tell you what. I'm seeing a person's energy. I don't know if this is you or this is the other person in this connection. See, what I'm seeing is that this person goes back into being something negative because they are not allowed, they are not being able to come out on their own. Okay. And I'm seeing that the universe time and again opens this choice. Oh my God, I have the lovers and the devil both. Time and again, the universe opens this choice to them. And every time they give themselves some reason that... I can see it. They give themselves some reason of like, oh, what if, what if it is not going to be better on the other side? What if even if I rescue myself, what, what if that another side is going to be... What is the guarantee that another side is not going to be bad? They get into this dynamic of thinking that how... How and what? Like, how How do you think? Or who gives me that guarantee? And this is very stupid to be being honest. But um, basically, the energy right now is of conflict, to be honest, between two people who have just been uh, in a zone uh, of... I think one of you could be sorted, but the other one just keeps reasoning things in a very weird way. The energy right now is this. So I'm not seeing there is a decision that has been made. But if the universe is showing this rescue card and there's a, somebody at the rescue over here already. So I have a feeling that either this is you or this is the universe calling out to them and coming to help them. See, the change will happen. No matter what. But this person is just complicating it. Unnecessarily. That's what I'm picking up. Now let me see where is this headed. Where is this connection headed? Where is this connection headed? So this is, this connection is headed towards a new beginning, okay? When I say a new beginning, you both are divine counterparts for each other. There is a need to confront your childhood fears, okay? And where this is headed is to that confrontation. This person probably behaving this way is basically an outcome of they trying to control everything. This is changing. I can see it. This person is realizing that this person has to get the message that the universe is trying to giving to them. I mean, give to them. Um, there is some childhood trauma here, which is playing out. I think from both the directions. It's not only the other person in the story. I'm picking up this is the other person in the story though. But I think even your traumas are playing out, to be honest. So let it play out. Let it play out. You are getting to understanding yourself with every trauma playing out in your mind. Okay. So I do think that the feminine should surrender. The masculine will take action. Okay. You guys are having telepathic communication also. It's a very strong bond that I'm seeing. 
but there's a need for you to understand that certain parts are not something that you need to put an effort over here. This is headed towards uh, healing. This connection is headed towards healing, uh, understanding how love is, simply. Pray. The feminine in this connection, please pray. Also, if you can be closer to the energy of the crystal amethyst, okay? The masculine, closer to the energy of green aventurine or a green stone. It will help you. It will really help you. Wait, wait, patience needed. Devil and lovers both playing out together here. So fears will play out, like I said. Somebody has gotten so used to being in a toxic environment that they feel that is normal. That's what I'm picking up here for pile two, okay? So wait, um, this is headed towards a lot of healing. I'm not seeing the two of you disconnecting from each other or this connection going anywhere. But yes, you have to be a little more patient in terms of Understanding that this person has their own journey and that's what usually deep so spiritual connections are. You have to understand the other person's pace. Some Maybe they might not have the pace as you do. Okay? So have faith. Okay? Alright, so that's what I have for you. I hope this reading helps. Private readings are open so you can reach out to me. Uh, let me know in the comments if this resonated. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. All right, let's move to pile three, whoever chose the selenite wand. Let's see the energy around your connection right now. What's happening? What's the energy around your connection? Okay. Uh, see, right now, something is shaping up over here. But I think there is a need to encourage each other. I think one of you has to show this to the other that I wish this works out. Okay? Do it slowly, but do it. Um, I think... One of you could be a much more stronger person over here. So... I, yeah, yeah. The genders don't matter over here. <clears throat> if the feminine has to encourage the masculine, then do it. If the masculine has to encourage the feminine, please do it. But I see that some encouragement and some something is needed over here in order to make this happen. Um, 
somebody has to show that you two are equally interested to move forward with them. Somebody has to show this. Somebody has to has to show this that you're there. You're there for them. The energy around right now is that you both have to be there for each other. I don't know what time is that, what is going on right now between the two of you, but you both have to be there for each other. One is more advanced. The other one might not be as spiritually grown as the other, but both need to be there for each other. But let me see where is this heading. It's a very clear message. I don't see something major happening, but there is this thing of being there for each other. Let me see. Where is this heading? It is heading towards happiness. Yes, and you all... I think you already know. This is, it seems like a continuation... Yeah, okay. So, look, the point is... Yes, one person in this connection is trying too hard to not accept the truth that is coming right in front of them. Uh, maybe they're just scared. Maybe they think that, oh, maybe I, I just can't. I cannot do this. And this is not possible. And how is this going to work out? But this is this will change. This will change for sure. There is this alchemical connection between the two of you, which one is refusing to see. I mean, they're still in the struggling phase. However, what I can see here is that the union will happen. It will happen. How hard, whatever the resistance is and however you try not to accept it, etc., etc. I don't think that is happening. This is all working in the favor of a step to be taken. Where is this headed is basically a step has to be taken. Something has to happen over here. Something has to be manifested. Something has to be done. Oh my God. Okay, I've never noticed this thing about this card. But the eye of the heart of the two of you are connected. It is connected. Now what I mean is, telepathically try to show this person the image of the life that the two of you can have. They'll be able to see it. Are you seeing that life or not? Or are you just anxious that this will end, this will end, this will end? Show that image to the person. You see it too. That's how you are encouraging this person. Now I get it. Yeah. That is how. And I see a very strong telepathic connection between the two of you. I have the magician and the high priestess together. You have to show this image to them. It's like a mirror. They'll be able to see it.
give it some time give it some time be patient but yeah you both have to see this image and you and i think if one sees the other one can also see it okay and i have the third eye chakra also which is about vision and i think this person's constant uh fear is stability okay now that picture i think you both have to clearly talk about that's what i'm picking up from here okay pile number 3 let me know in the comments if this resonated private readings are open so you can reach out to me and let me know if you want just let me know if this made sense cuz it's a very beautiful reading that i picked up all three piles were amazing okay take care i'll talk to you soon bye